Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be telling to you guys about uh, how much you should practice um, every day. Um, now you should practice every day, but um, I'm going to be talking about how much, um, well it depends on your schedule and how packed you are, but um, I'm going to be explaining the difference between quantity and quality um, because I think that's really important. Uh, for people to know um, For example, let's say somebody Who has a very packed and tight schedule only has time for only like 30 minutes or 45 minutes of practicing or let's say maximum one hour um, Now that's not a lot uh, Let's be honest for well if you just started that that's pretty good if you practice that much every day, but um if you want to level up in your playing um, and go to more of an advanced level of playing, um, that's not enough. So, uh, I mean, well, it depends, but let's say, okay, let's say another person um, who practices, let's say, two to three hours every day. Um, now, you, right off the bat, you might think that that person is better than the other person because they practice more, right? Yes, and also no. It depends on, the, the, see there's a way to practice, it's not just you pick up your instrument and you start playing. Uh, that there's a, no, it's not like that. There's a correct way to, um, to, to practice. Like you might take a few bars of a piece that you have to play and play it over and over, but and play in different, let's say different rhythms, slowly with metronome, um, different bowling techniques, um, and that is what level ups your playing. Um, so let's say that person that practices two to three hours a day, um, you know, they have more time, of course, um, but they don't practice, um, like with, with the quality, they don't, they don't have the quality. Um, when they practice, you know, they might just pick up their instrument and just start playing random things. And that just might make it more, um, they just might, you know, they have, they have free time, so um, they just do what's fun and what seems like, you know, they just start playing, you know, so, but that's not technically the way, um, because practicing, um, we might think, we might want to have fun with it, but it's actually more strict in a way, because practicing is what makes you better in playing, and in your, when you have time to practice, you have to take it seriously. Um, but let's just say that, um, the other person practices 30 minutes or 45 minutes or an hour, let's say every day, if they put quality time into that practicing and they put like, um, if they put quality time and they don't waste their time and they do correctly what, um, their teacher or whatever, um, whoever is teaching them, um, that they said, you know, they take a few bars they focus on it, uh, make it better, you know, to use different techniques, then um, th that person that practices that, like, they don't waste their time, of course, because that person that practices, like, 45 minutes or an hour, that person will still level up, but um, um, uh, I would rather choose the person that practices less than the person who practices two to three hours, because the person practicing two to three hours is not doing the same thing. He's just, he or she is just picking up the instrument and just starting to play. That's not how you practice, right? Um, so overall, I would say, look at how much time you have um, in your day and try to find some time to fit in um, practicing into your schedule. Um, if you can practice, let's say, um, one or even two hours a day that's great that that's that's perfect um, if you want to level up and go to an, a stage where like professionals are uh, like professionals are then i would recommend two to three hours um a day i used to practice two to three hours every day now i don't but um uh, that that those, those two to three hours is what you know took me to that um level of you know not professional 
I wouldn't say professional, but definitely advanced level that I didn't know that I could do. So uh, look at how much time you have, look at your goals and what you want to achieve if you're really serious about cello or just any instrument. Um, then I would recommend fitting another like hour into your um, sessions um, practicing. So, but this really depends on how much time you have, you know, and depends on what your goals are. I wouldn't recommend anyone who is not serious um, with the cello or any instrument, or if you want to go into a career, a music career, I wouldn't um, recommend practicing more than, if you want to just keep it as a hobby, I would recommend practicing more than an hour, an hour and a half. Um, you don't you don't really need to practice two or three hours a day, but um, yeah, you know it, it just depends on what you want, uh, how much time you have, and yeah, that's basically it. So uh, keep on practicing, keep on um, leveling up. Um, but look, I know practicing can be boring. It, it for me it it is it's boring, like very boring. But it's something that we all have to do if we want to get better, if we want to stay, uh, maintain our level of playing. It's something that we all have to do. So um, don't look at it as don't look at it as boring. Look at it as something that will help you achieve your goals. So uh, keep on practicing, keep on playing, and I'll see you guys in the next. Video.